Hi everybody. Uh, in this lesson, I will talk about button and the on press handle. When you press to a button, and it will show a message to the screen. Uh, so firstly, I define a uh, React Native component app. So in this app, we have the render function, and inside the render function, we have a view. Uh, so the view has a style. Uh, properties so the style uh, will be flex one uh, flex is one means that uh, the view is uh, full screen and the justify content center and the alignment uh, align item will be center so inside this all element will be add to the center and uh, we have a button uh, so the button it means that uh, it has a width high and uh, it has an on press uh, the on press action so inside the on spread uh, action we have a function or uh, an uh, arrow function the arrow function will uh, uh, be called uh, when when you press to the button uh, you can add uh, some of the command line here you can add uh, alerts uh, to show uh, the screen that you have an alert and you have to set the title you have to set the title to the button uh, so you uh, use the title is to go to a string and this string is uh, this is a button and here the default color is in iOS or background color in Android uh, I will talk about Android later uh, for a few a few minutes uh, and uh, we have the color is green and so I reload yes so this is a this is a green uh, color or the text color in android it is a background color uh, then you cannot set the background color here uh, you cannot set this so remove you have to set this in the style so uh, in the style you can uh, add to a view you can add the button into the view and you set the style for the view yes so uh, in so here you can set the styles for the view because the view is uh, outer or uh, so out to the you know, button you can uh, set you can set the view uh, background color uh, for example here and you can change a little bit for more uh, beautiful by using color is white and back, uh, background color is green so uh, you can add more padding for better use interface you can add uh, padding for the content inside so we have the padding so uh, nicely and you can add the border radius of uh, in pixel uh, it, it is a radius in pixel and then you can uh, add the shadow radius so the shadow radius can give you the shadow uh, surrounding to uh, the button and the opacity is uh, uh, from one to uh, uh, from one to zero, from zero to one. Yes. And after clicking to this, it can show that you press a button. Uh, so you can also copy this arrow function and uh, define to a separate um, variable. So we have on press button, and you paste the content of the function here. And, um, and so uh, after extract uh, this function you can copy this function name and uh, you remove this and change to this dot on press button yes okay so it will go into this variable on press button and this variable point to the the arrow function and you can press so uh, what about Android here it's an Android pixel so the color is a background color so white here is a background color and if you change to red it is a red so the background color not the text color uh, so if you want to customize it uh, it is quite uh, difficult but you can use another library so here we have in uh, javascript course we uh, search for a uh, button and we have a react uh, react native uh, button a library uh, so you can uh, install this uh, locally in your project by using uh, 
minus minus self uh, surface to here enter uh, and you can see that it uh, is added to your project uh, so you can check by uh, uh, by showing this content file by using cat uh, package.json so here uh, we have the react native button here yes it is a library for react native button and in the code you can uh, uh, import uh, this to the, your code by uh, import the button class from react native button uh, the library that we have just installed and so you have to remove this component it is not necessary you remove this by comment now yes you comment out this so uh, I call the button the button in uh, react native button here and uh, I set a style for this as I set a style for a view. It's a very simple. You can set uh, uh, the width and height. You can set font size. You can set color. Uh, and you copy this content to here. And yeah, it is this a button. So uh, it's just nicely. You can change it in uh, Android. Uh, you can also use a background color. Uh, for example, red. Uh, yes, remove the comma here. Yes, so we have this uh, button. Okay, so you can change the uh, color to text color to white and background color to uh, green. Yes, and uh, you can padding for add more space to uh, the content and the uh, button. Yes, so uh, uh, what about? the padding yes the padding font size you can increase a little bit yes and uh, in the case you want to uh, add a border you can also add a border to this so uh, now there are uh, various type of uh, uh, type you can use and uh, you uh, can also copy this on press uh, action and uh, it has action as in android standard uh, standard yes the Android standard you press a button with a view uh, as in Android uh, so you can um, also have the border radius uh, the border radius in pixel you can also set this yes so we have the button like in uh, iOS uh, or Android and uh, uh, in some next lesson, I will tell you about how to make it compatible both uh, with Android and iOS. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more uh, exciting video or download code in GitHub here.